Yo yo yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Ras Conjure, hope you're all having a great day today. In today's video, we're getting into a no Jaeger recall guide. I've actually been struggling with the Jaeger a little bit recently, I know it sounds crazy, a lot of people have been managing Jaeger's recall a lot more, and I've been trying to use him to understand. I find the change very weird, and I find like I'm whiffing a lot more shots, so I'll be breaking down Jaeger's recall and hopefully getting you and me to understand Jaeger's recall better. Alright, let's not waste any more of your time, let's get right into it. Just before I break down Jaeger's recall pattern and spreads, I wanted to talk about peripherals. Again, if you guys have watched the series, I always talk about peripherals before I get into the little nitty gritty stuff because the peripherals are actually what will allow you to uh, keep consistent about your aim and improve your no recall. I'm going to start off with this bad boy. We all know what it is. If you watch me, if you're new, hello. But I wear a Supreme arm sleeve. It is a joke. But all you need is a normal arm sleeve. They're about $10 from Amazon. They're just a sport ones, the ones that you use in football or basketball. And you might be wondering why do you use an arm sleeve? Arm sleeve allows consistency with your aim. If you're wearing a t-shirt, so uh, just your skin on the mouse pad, or you're just wearing a, a jumper, so then you get these little ripples, which is you don't really get in an arm sleeve because they like spread out. If that makes sense, it's like all even. Those ripples will make it feel different when you move your arm side to side different temperatures different effects and what arm sleeve does is this no matter what temperature it is in your room and uh, no matter how warm or cold it is in your room you'll get the same glide it'll be the same material of the uh, arm sleeve every single time which so if you get used to flicking heavy with your arm like flicking to left and right it'll be the same texture every time this will allow you to train your muscle memory better and allow those flicks and one shot easier the other peripherals I'm using is a G Pro Super Light with a custom skate on, and I'm using a Vaco mouse pad. I think it's the same one that Shaiko actually uses. It wasn't deliberate. I use the same sensor Shaiko. I'm basically B Tech Shaiko, but it's the same one. It's the Dragon one, and then I use a Ducky keyboard, but the keyboard doesn't matter. And I got a 240 hertz monitor, which you don't need. You need 144, in my opinion. 240 is just like the deluxe version of it. Those are all the peripherals for you guys. Now I'm going to get into the attachments and break down the gun and what you want to use on your gun before. I show you the no recall demonstration. Here we have my lovely Jaeger skin with the Sonic B Tech Black Ice, the Black Ice Attachment Skin, and the Jaeger Black Ice Chibi. Ooh, quick flex for you guys, how to do it on you. So, what I recommend using. I'm actually being serious right now. I actually think Red Dot, a lot of people are using it on Jaeger and it's viable. I haven't played with it enough. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet. So I'm stick with the holographic and you can actually use the reflex. You can use all three sites on Jaeger. It's kind of one of those guns that you can use whatever site you feel comfortable with. So I'll let you guys decide that one. I use a flash on Jaeger. Again, he's got the suppressor, he's got the compensator, he's got the extender and muzzle brake. Um, I think you could actually use muzzle. I haven't tested Jaeger enough, if I'm being 100% honest with the muzzle, but I have tested him a lot with a flash, more than muzzle. Flash just reduces how much the muzzle will shoot upwards, which means how much the gun wants to fight upwards in the first couple bullets, because as you know in Siege, the first couple bullets are the most important. So obviously flash is the go-to on ARs at the moment in this season, so I recommend trying flash. I feel like you guys, you could, you could use muzzle brake if you are struggling with the single fire kick. I recommend using flash for Jaeger, of course. I'll show you and demonstrate why, and obviously if Siege gives you a grip, you use the grip. I'm a big uh, laser sight user, I would say, but I do not recommend the laser sight on Jaeger's gun. I don't know why, it just doesn't feel right, and I don't think uh, you hit fire with Jaeger's gun really ever, so I would not use a laser sight. Now, I'll be getting into Jaeger's recoil pattern and how the gun reacts. Now, I'll demonstrate what it's like when I shoot without any control, then I'll try to control it to show you guys what these attachments and how practicing will improve. How practicing will allow you to improve your aim with the little variables I just said and get a nice tight spread on your Jaeger sprays. Now this is Jaeger without me pulling down. So what you can see from Jaeger's spray is that it will obviously ignore the detected outside, outdoors. I Try to figure it out, but I can't figure it out why I can't get rid of it. So just ignore the constant flashing. It's maybe to keep your eyes on screen. <laughs> so what happens is the first bullet kicks like all siege guns do. Like if you guys haven't watched my recall, guys before it kicks, but then it wants to fight to the right hand side. It can consistently wants to fight to the right hand side constantly. So the second you start firing, it will pull to the right, then go up a little bit, pull to the right, pull to the right, go up a bit, pull to the right, go up, pull to the right. It's very bizarre recall. It's a hard one to actually understand and control. This is what happens when I shoot the gun now. So what you can see from this demonstration is that Jaeger's gun is very very manageable from medium to close range to be able to keep the spread tight. I'll even do one from further away. Jaeger's gun because it slightly kicks to the right in a slow up and down pattern. All you need to do to get your spread tighter is pull slightly down to the left. I know it sounds weird to say, but you guys will practice it. And this gun is a lot easier than people are realizing at the moment. So all you've got to do, these are very good sprays, I'd say. 
You just got to be gliding down ever so slightly to your left to combat the spray. I'm but it's it's ever so slight combat. It's not like a scorpion or any of those guns that have got mad kick. It's more like a slight glide to the left. So you might be wondering how do you get the spread so tighter? That's quite a kick, etc. It's very simple. If you're new to the game, at least you want to be trying terrorist hunts, quick matches. You want to be using the gun for at least. Oof, I want to say at least like 20 hours just using the gun. Don't keep using the same gun in one night if that makes sense But add it add it to your arsenal of characters that you're gonna be using So let's say you're playing for a couple of hours a night Just play Jaeger for one of those two hours So you'll get more and more consistent with the gun from different battles now I'll be getting into the the bursting of the gun and what bursting is like with Jaeger's gun Bursting Jaeger's gun is actually kind of bizarre. Maybe it's because I'm using flash, but I'll demonstrate what I mean So that's me bursting it without pulling it down, and it's actually not as bad as previous guns. Again, every single siege gun has the, f the first bullet just kicks more. That must be something to do with gun logic. I'm a very bad gun expert, but that must be something to do with the, you know, the, f the first bullet accuracy, and then the second one is always going to kick more. So what you're learning from these is that if you can one-tap a gun, you'll always be accurate with it. The second you start spraying, you're a little bit in no man's land. But anyway, we're moving on to how I burst it. So Jaeger's gun... I'm going to be very honest with you guys, if you haven't tried it for a season because of the nerfs, it's actually really, really manageable at the moment. Let me just go a bit closer for you guys. It's a lot easier to keep the spread tighter. It doesn't feel like I'm having to challenge the gun that hard. It feels like I'm just having to pull down as I shoot. But genuinely, guys, it's a lot easier than I think a lot of people realize this gun. I've been struggling with it from long ranges, but that might be because I haven't used it that much. But from medium to close ranges, this gun kind of feels like old Jaeger, not quite, but it feels very, very similar to what it used to be like. From the clips I'm demonstrating now, you can basically see Jaeger's gun is quite competitive with a lot of guns. I'd actually almost say Jaeger's kind of creeping up and catching up to what my right now so if you guys haven't tried him i'd say go try him it's very important to understand that jaeger and my kind of must picks in most maps at the moment and ranked you at least want one of them so if you guys can get quite good with jaeger again he's he is still a bring i would say his win loss percentage of this season has actually been shocking and i feel like it's because people aren't either they're scared of his gun or aren't no, understanding his gun fully and whiffing a lot more bullets so i do recommend going into a little bit of terrorist hunt or a little bit of private match like i showed you and just try and figure out what the spray is and try it from much further back and from a lot closer so you can understand the different spray patterns down below in the comments if you guys are still watching do let me know which operator you want to see next i'm thinking maybe an ak-12 guide or maybe a, a scorpion guide next for you so do let me know which gun you'd like to see and which gun you're struggling with and which gun you want me to break down thank you so much for watching guys i really do appreciate it hope this video has helped you go try Jaeger out for me let me know what you think down below is he better is he worse i do want to know your honest opinions thanks again for all the support on the channel we just hit 1600 subs i'm pretty sure in my last video um i said thank you for 1.5 we are basically doing insane numbers at the moment i genuinely, genuinely can't thank you enough really 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 want to get 2000 subs by the end of february so if you haven't told your friends about this channel it'd be much appreciated if you share and let them know and thanks so much for watching i don't want to waste any more of your time there'll be videos popping on screen that you guys can click and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already much love from your boy rascal 100 and i'll see you in the next one peace out have a great weekend much love just for the people who people who make it to the end of the video we just got a little guest I want to say hello on the bed behind me while recording the video and she just wanted to say hello please enjoy the no recall guard a big kiss from me and Innie and have a great day boys bye